You miss me? Because I missed you. I miss this environment, this ah! bathroom. I bet none of you realize that this is a mirror. Ooh, what's this magic I'm doing? God damn it, now I have fingerprints on here. Hi friends, my name is Furco today. Vegan, of course. I haven't entertained you guys with the dyeing, the perishing, the singeing of my hair in a while. And I feel like I'm doing a disservice to the hair community if I don't give you entertaining content. Because as always, this is a what not to do this is not an education channel but first daily lemon water check today we have the beautiful one and only butterfly pea flower tea that tastes just like grass mixed with lemon so it tastes like lemongrass usually she's blue but if you add citrus it turns purple and i'm kind of missing my purple hair so that's why i'm drinking it i have a confession to make i've been tricking you guys about my hair I know! I'm sorry, I hope you forgive me. The truth is, my hair is not that good. You can say it's healthy because I've been blessed with thick Asian jungle hair. I do not deserve it at all, but thank you, mom. Love you. As always, the camera is in my favor and it loves to deceive you guys. So it looks fine right now, but you're probably shocked. Huzzah! <laughs> Do you see these roots? They're not really doing too well. It's not gonna pick up on camera, but the inside of my root is purple, the midpoint is green, and then this is blue. Back here, it's literally brown because I'm trying to grow that part out. The perimeter of my long hair is kind of short right now, see this? I'll explain why in a little bit. I'm moving back to New York in literally a week, so I gotta get this under control. And as always, I've become extra prepared. I went to Sally Beauty, this is $6 there. This is 40 developer with my favorite brand too, the Ion Sensitive Scalp. She's a little sensitive now after five times being bleached. We're still using the Wella Blonder Powder. So I'm gonna chit chat, see if I can get, I don't know, silver hair? Maybe we'll go back to purple. I don't know how I'm feeling. All of this is contingent on whether or not my hair decides to lift. Do not exceed 6% 20 developer. What do you mean don't exceed 20 developer? What is, who do you think I am? So, what happened to my hair the first time I redyed it? It was purple for a while. It looked beautiful, but I told you guys the roots were not doing it for me. I had to redo all of it. And you guys know I don't trust salons because they've always messed up my hair. And this is more affordable. So I used 30 developer initially and I bleached it twice in one day. <laughs> it didn't come out well. And I was praying, hoping that if I put some purple in my blue dye, it would balance out the yellow because it was not toned. I forgot to put toner in it because I was too lazy, which is why you see some of the green right now and why I'm mad at myself for that. But because I've been blessed with thick jungle black hair, it takes literally three tries to lift it to the point where I can dye it silver. So to all the blonde folks out there, I'm coming to your house, I'm shaving your hair off, and I'm gonna make a wig with it. My hair's never fallen out, it deserves to. I'm gonna just take this, put it directly on my roots. Brad Mondo, I know you say don't do that, but listen, I'm tired of brown roots. We're not dating, we're not on good terms. They're not welcomed in this household. They are here rent free. So I'm gonna start from the back because this part is still brown and I'm hoping I can just use this to make sure I get all of it. Oh, that's gonna be a little harder than I thought. I'm also hoping that this will lift the blue out of my hair. I don't know how that works. This mirror is also very annoying. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, here we go. So why am I growing the edge of my hair out? The sides, to clarify. I'm kind of paranoid that I've been shaving off this part every single time I cut my hair because I look at the shavings when I'm done and I see little bits of long hair. So I'm just scared that I'm slowly cutting away and like becoming more bald and maybe in 10 years it'll turn into a mohawk so i'm just trying to make a reset just making sure that i don't slowly chop it all off by accident and i'm not too worried about getting this on my short hair because i'm just going to buzz it off anyways and speaking of buzzing i know i've teased the idea of me shaving my head for months now and i still don't know if i want to do it oh uh this looks a little tragic back here y'all seeing that that's okay i'll cover up with the bucket head anyways i still don't know if i want to do it or not so i made a bet with my friend if i don't get a boyfriend by the end of 2020 i'll buzz it off and before you all criticize me you all know that i'm not actively looking for a boyfriend i don't go on dating apps i'm fine being single it's just a fun bet so unless someone literally steps on my doorstep runs into me on the new york street saying let me be your boyfriend i'm probably going to have a shaved head by 2021 because the joke is if i can't even get someone to date me with this amazing hair then i might as well try to get the people who are into the 
monk look. The borderline Aang cosplay. Ooh, this is getting a little bit green, guys. I know what you guys are saying. Frederick, people don't just date you because of your hair. I know that. It's just a funny joke, and I really don't care if I shave my head. I'm so indifferent about it. I just need something to push me, so a bet is a bet. And I'm not even worried about not getting a boyfriend because I'm not trying to get one. We're still in quarantine, unlike some other people in LA. Shade, but no shade. <laughs> and this isn't me calling for, like, a boyfriend contest. If you DM me, I'm not responding. My friend's just been saying things have been going our way and good things happen in three. We got an apartment, I'm making a podcast, so the next step is obviously a boyfriend because everyone first semester failed me. I didn't fail them. You all know the stories. Houston, we have liftoff. We are already at Mars. Wow, this back part is really brown. Probably gonna need my friends to help me out with this one. Friends? Anyone? No? Okay. I lost my roommate to help me out once we get back. Oh, we have spreadage. An asteroid just hit us. Parts of the ship have flown off, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm doing this on Thursday, so I have one more day to dye this again if it doesn't come out perfect. But I'm not bleaching this three times in three days. The max I'll do is two. I'm gonna make another batch because this wasn't enough. The good thing is I have not felt the fumes. I'm so sorry to anyone I'm disappointing right now because of my technique. Oh, my head feels a little heavy. <laughs> There's a lot of weight in there. Ooh, this viscosity level is much lower. It might drip. Yeah, that's going to drip. Oh, good thing I caught you before you tried to come for me. How dare, dare you? you? Viscosity is too low. I need to add some more bleach. There is so much bleach in there still. We got a long way to go. <laughs> Type in the comments now if you think my hair will fall out and then edit it if you were right or wrong. Oh, why does my hair look like Jimmy Neutron? Honestly though, he had a great haircut. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, it's lifting so much, but it's so green. Probably because I put blue dye, Frederick. How am I missing all these spots still? Oh, oh, no, 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 please stop. Stop that now no Ugh. whatever honestly i only care about the front you all know i have a bucket hat sewn to my head 24 7. i sleep with it actually i don't get how people say their scalp burns i'm not feeling anything or maybe i'm just used to the feeling and i just have become numb yeah i just missed a whole spot there literally why is it so green no okay plan b we're bringing her out again i know y'all missed the blobfish look don't worry i'm bringing her back <laughs> hello oh i can't breathe <laughs> you are really trying it today. All right, here we go. So what we do is we take a line, push it down, push it towards the middle between the eyes, and that way everything stays protected and we can see everything I missed. Is there such thing as too much bleach on hair? Oh, it's starting to burn. <gasps> no, it's not burning. And then we roll it back up, squish it down a little bit, and take this off. It says 50 minutes is the max, so I'll see you in 50 minutes. Should I put a plastic bag over this? I should. Here at NYU, we are innovators. <laughs> All right, see you guys soon. Much later. How y'all doing? Oh, my foot's numb. All right, it's been 50 minutes, so let's see the damage. It's starting to tingle a little bit, a little sting, a little pinch. Oh, whoa, whoa, ma'am. Have you ever seen this much volume in the hair? There's a bug, there's a bug. It's about to die because of all these toxins. Oh my God, my head is so heavy. So as you can see, the bleach spread when I used the plastic bag. I knew that would happen. I'm buzzing that part off, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it all out and we'll see if I have to bleach one more time. I'm gonna say I don't need to, but type your comment. All right, I'm not even trying to be funny. My hair's actually falling out. <laughs> Do you see this? That's a clump of white hair that came out when I was brushing it through. And I know you're not supposed to comb, I could not help myself, I'm so sorry. But if I do this, you can see that there are some hairs clinging onto my thumb. So I just put on a hair mask in hopes that I can recover it, at least prevent it from disintegrating. Somehow there's some blue patches. My hair feels great. <laughs> Uh, about that shaving thing. That might happen a little bit earlier. This can even survive the toner. Type in the comments whether or not my hair will survive. I really, I really don't think it's gonna be that good this time. I'm pretty sure this is the whitest I've ever seen hair. Actually pure white. I could white balance this right now and it'd still be the same. A few minutes later. You guys, I just did something really bad. I know all of you guys can tell I just combed my hair. I just washed off the hair mask and I was just trying to comb my hair. I know you shouldn't comb it, but in my head it's like, okay, you're just trimming off all the bad parts anyways. Might as well get rid of all of the split ends because they're not going to stay anyways, but that's not healthy. <laughs> now there's <is> this. <laughs> no, it's not that big of a deal. I knew going into this, it was going to fall off and 
You know what? I was due for a haircut anyways. I mean, surely it can't get rid of all my hair, right? Maybe it can. I don't know. Maybe I'll shave my head earlier than I expected. But I guess it's time to Marie Kondo this, fold it into thirds, and say goodbye. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow and try to let my hair recover. Hopefully I have some hair to work with. The next day. How are you doing? Oh, some hair fell out while I just did that. My hair survived, it did not fall out. I had a nightmare that it did, but I'm glad I woke up and it was wrong. It feels honestly not too bad now. The ends are forever gone, but it looks way more lighter than what I thought. I think everything will come out silver for once. If the roots still end up brown, I'm... <sighs> I'm just gonna shave it off at that point. Why bother? I'm never gonna get silver hair. And I did tweet out about the fact that my hair was falling out and you guys said use a protein treatment. I don't think I have one, but look what came in the mail literally today. I promise it's not sponsored, this is just PR. But Fanola freaking sent in a bunch of hair treatment things. Tina, if you're watching this, did you know this was going to happen? I just wanna give a quick shout out to them because I don't get PR and they feel really special. And they put a polar into me. So I'm gonna try out their stuff and hopefully it keeps my hair intact once I'm done toning and dyeing. So now we're going to tone with the infamous Wella Blonder. Was it Brad that said this was just permanent hair dye? Either way, I'm putting it on my hair. Sue me. I know this is going to smell and ruin my hair even more. I hope it's not expired. Wait, I should probably check that. Where is your expiration date, sir? Ugh, open that. I already smell it. Oh yeah, it smells so fine and dandy. That's distracting. Maybe I don't need this. If I pass out and whatever. I know you're supposed to use only 10 or 20 developer because it will fry your hair, but I don't have that and I am too embarrassed to go outside. So we're using the 30 developer. I've had this for over six months, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be less active, meaning it'll be like 25, maybe 20 developers. So just don't make my hair fall out. And yes, my hair did fall out even more after filming. I would do this and I would see hair fall. Oh, there's one. Bye. But I still don't think chunks are going to fall off. I think we're at the edge of that. This might enable that though. Ooh, never mind, I'm not strong enough. My parents haven't noticed, but nor will they care. I'm leaving in a week so they can just forget this ever happened to me. They also have yet to see my hair, even though we're all in quarantine. Ends first, roots first. We'll do middle, <laughs> just to be safe. You know what, no, there is no ends, no middles. There's just slap it on. Just go through the motions for a drip. Oh, you're dripping. Do not try me today. Oh, God damn it, I already missed some hairs back here. I am going to cut my hair at the very end of this, so we'll hopefully get all of the sides off. Oh, I already see it toning. Actually, let's just do this. Let's move it all to the center. Oh, slow down. Nothing's burning, surprisingly. Talent. So I went back through the footage because I'm a masochist and I like seeing myself suffer. There was literally no reason for me to put the bleach on my ends because my only goal was to get the roots finished. My thought process was I need to get the blue out because I wanted to dye it silver. But in retrospect, I should have just used like 20 developer and bleach together instead of the 40 developer just to lift it a little bit, not teleport it to Mars. So yeah, I did make a mistake there. My other mistake was leaving it on for the allotted time, which was 15 minutes because it took 20 minutes minutes just to put it on my head. So I went overboard on time, which means we didn't just go to Mars. We went to Saturn at that point. Mm, this is yellow. I don't appreciate that. I already get this feeling that it's not actually going to tone it to silver and my roots are still going to look ugly as shit, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I hope blondes are never insecure of their hair. You guys have it good. Please just lift it. Just lift that part. Why? It's not doing anything. I'm gonna get brown roots again. Oh God, it's happening. This is literally going to happen again. This is the third time I've tried to get silver hair and I still cannot fully get it. Like, look, this part is already silver. That's exactly the color I want, but this part is not it. I guess my eyes were deceiving me. I thought it was lighter than usual. Okay, that's all the toner we're going to Smush it around, make sure I don't miss a spot again. Only the ends are getting silver, but they're gonna fall off anyways. And even though I'm going bald in December, I think I can salvage this hair. I'm just gonna let everything grow out, cut it again. Ooh, ooh. I'm feeling it. Do I plastic bag it? No, not this time. All right, it's been a little over 20 minutes. I can already tell that it's not getting the roots and I don't know why God has forsaken me. I'm just gonna wash it out and then put silver hair dye over it because I, I give up. So we'll see what happens. 15 minutes later. Um, that's much lighter than I thought it would be based on what the toner looked like. I mean, this is a very light silver. 
So, we like how the ends look, right? We like how it looks three-fourths of the way, but not the roots. What if we took some silver hair dye, add some developer, and put it directly near the roots to get that fade? I never understand how people can just fade it from black to silver. Maybe they use black dye? Well, I don't have that today. I don't know if you're supposed to put developer, but I am because I'm pretty sure Correct me if I'm wrong. It helps lift while putting dye in. That was just a rumor I heard. <laughs> Someone said this from Umbrella Academy. I haven't seen it yet. I will watch it soon. So I was watching a video of an actual professional in a hair salon and they had this amazing fade from black to silver. No brown in between. I don't know how you do it. I think at this point I should just go for black dye. But it looks purple so I feel like that'll tone out all of the yellowiness because there is some left. Yeah, you can see it. I don't know how that part looks but it's okay. We're gonna wear a hat over it just on the ends. Maybe I should comb it through later just to make sure it fades. Actually, maybe not comb, mix it in with my hands. <gasps> I'm not wearing any gloves. She's just that talented. That looks good, I feel like. I think this will work. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I can't see. Because oh. this silver is a darker silver, so maybe that'll help it fade. As long as I don't put it on the end, it'll look like some gradient. I don't really care about this side because my hair does not swoop this way anyways. We're not gonna worry about that part. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. There is some tool out there that I'm missing. Oh, this middle part. <laughs> it's a no from me. She's yellow. Wow. We're gonna need more dye. And I finally used up my 30 developer. Yes! Now I can buy 20 developer. <laughs> can you get in line? Thank you. You know, I hope that does not lift my hair to make it brown. I think it did that last time. And I think it's doing it again. It's... Fine. Okay, one pass, done. Now we got a lot of extra dye, so we're just gonna slather it on. You know how I said I was gonna fade it? Nope, not anymore. How did I lose so much hair, but there's still so much up there? Missed the spot there. As long as the front looks good, we're fine. I don't think I'm asking for much. Yes, I'm not using gloves because I don't feel like it. Get in those roots, please. Okay, I'm feeling better about this. <laughs> When was the last time I said that? We're not gonna talk about that side. No one cares about that side. And we wait. How long? Oh, uh, until I'm, I feel ready. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I'm gonna give myself my own therapy session on why I do the things I do. I'm going to Google buzzed haircut on Asian men to see how that looks. And I'll see you once this is done. Transition, transition, transition. Um, uh, ma'am, sir, excuse me, but I, did it. It's a little purple, obviously that'll fade out. But I did it, there's no, it's not there. It's just darker silver back there. I did it. I don't think this part is perfect, but we don't care about that part. It looks darker on camera right now, but trust me, it got light when I tried blow drying it, except this started happening again. <laughs> so I'm not gonna blow dry it, I'm just gonna let it air dry. My hair smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers because I just put a bunch of this serum on. In fact, we're gonna put even more because I'm so paranoid. So boys, if you wanna get a whiff of this, I'm kidding, if you try to stroke your hair through this, it will never go through. Or you're just gonna get chunks of hair falling out. But it doesn't look bad. It feels terrible. Did I get a strand of hair in my eye and then it proceeded to look like a worm inside of my eye? Yes. Is there strands all over my camera right now and my entire bathroom? Yes. Will I regret this because I'm probably gonna shave my head anyways? No. It's rain and hair. <laughs> I hope you guys can't see the hair falling out. It's bad. Also, I did cut my hair pretty short this time. I used a one clip instead of a two. But overall, I'm happy. And now I know to only do the roots for future episodes. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more foolery every week. Subscribe to my second channel. We already have a few videos out and my podcast channel that is going to have a future episode soon. Be on the lookout for that. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. But you guys, it's actually good. Bye.